the next announce, special announcement, CAF-UHN Partnership on Integrated Disease Management. Friends, I just, with my age, I always take liberty that I say more than what I can in a couple of minutes. We all came to this country with a visa to settle down, find a job, and look after the family. When you find a job, you feel your journey has started with your family, but a lot more to do. You pay attention with the community members, maybe building a temple, building a church, or building a Gurudwara. We focus our attention to make ourselves feel more secure emotionally. That takes us to the next level of offering. Look at what other new Canadians have done in this country. How do they come and participate? How, what does the civil society do as part of their share in developing the community? As Canada is a great country. I call it God's country. What can we be doing in this country that beyond looking after families, having a job, building a temple, Gurudwara, what more can we be doing? As some of the earlier Canadian, new Canadians who came here, we look at them, what they have done. Building a hospital, helping with the educational institutions. How can we be participating? Canada India Foundation, we are privileged to say the thought leaders who came together when it formed about 15 years back. Ramesh Bhai, Sujit Babra, Ajit Someshwar, Anil Shah, many others. It came into existence for public policy, civil uh, providing leadership for civil, civil society. With members, they invested on uh, help with educational activities, be it Waterloo, be it McMaster. We did initiatives. But then, as we have been doing during this conference, healthcare has become a major issue of opportunity and cont for contribution. So it came into our mind as we are doing the conference that what can we be doing? Friends, some of us have had the opportunity. The Lord has chosen us to do a few things. And we are fortunate that we were able to get to know University Health Network, UHN. As a partner, we participated with them in their activities. They were generous in inviting some of us to sit in some of their committees, got to know them more. People like Professor Milos Popovich and Paul Wo and uh, uh, Fernie and a few other people. They helped us with our earlier conference on healthcare be it in Canada or be it in India. Uh, Paul came all the way to India with the second conference. So the bonding, people to people connection got happened and we were fortunate that we could develop that, the fourth best in the world and best in Canada to form that partnership. We understood each other. At the end of the day, friends, it is the human relation, connectivity, confidence and trust that makes you to travel more with the group of people that we choose to do. So having seen that, we found opportunity did come and knock at our door that beyond deliberations with the papers, papers, presentations, what else can we be doing? And with the dynamic leadership with the Canada India Foundation, we decided to discuss what opportunity could, could be there. So together, the leadership of Canada India Foundation considered working on integrated healthcare, bringing together our, 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 with, from, from our Indian Ayurvedic, Ayush, various initiatives that we have known. Prevention is more than the cure. So what, how the two can be coming together to offer integrated uh, care for our, our, our community. Here, we found the time is right. 
you know, and uh, we, we, have, we have the leaders with the UHN coming to discuss with us. Yesterday, we had Kevin Smith coming and sharing the podium with us. So we developed the relationship. We also saw the partnership with Medanta, with UHN, Chaco, with UHN. So we sensitized and formed the partnership, whether it's the management or active workers, they all felt comfortable. This is the time for us. And we are very fortunate that today, we have come to make an announcement on the, on the partnership between UHN and Canada India Foundation on the health healthcare, education healthcare are major components for, 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 for the society, for, for, for the society. So we feel we are fortunate that we got an opportunity to work with University of Health Work, not to own cure, but rehabilitation. You know, rehabilitation is a major component, bringing people the productivity, economic co uh, contribution, much more consistent with what we need. And working with Toronto Rehab gives us another opportunity. It is it is a, it is a leader in its, um, its portfolio. So UHN with Toronto Rehab is a major opportunity for us to be working together. So we want to say thanks to our, our partner, UHN, to come forward. We in Canada India Foundation feel these are small drops making a ocean. So we have come forward forward with this initiative. I now will request um, uh, uh, our chair, Canada India Foundation Chair, Satish Thakur to make, make his comments. Satish. Oh, <clears throat> thank you so very much, uh, uh, Dr. Lakshmanan. And uh, as, as you set the very nicely preamble uh, towards this initiative, I, we all strongly be, believe that integrated holistic health is, is the future of medicine and how we can marry uh, the 6,000 year old uh, traditional way of uh, uh, healthcare, which, which has been uh, prevalent in, in most of the part of, uh, of course, India. And we also started the one uh, Ayurvedic speaker series that how we can marry these uh, concept with the modern practices of the uh, medicine uh, so that a, a holistic uh, way of care, whether we, pertaining to disease prevention or disease management can be uh, evidence-based, can be initiated. And uh, in that direction, it's a very small initiative. I know that is, this, I think, would be perhaps uh, one of its kind in North America, starting with, with uh, a, uh, a reputable uh, institution like UHN, who is, who, uh, is number one in Canada and number four in, in, in the world uh, in terms of the uh, of the research and other uh, healthcare activities. So we are very proud to be partnering on, on, on this initiative and our initial outlay is a uh, million dollar that we will be uh, pulling a resources together uh, to put together a million dollar on this research and five year project uh, where we have identified, we all know that we are going through a very difficult time of COVID right now to focus on uh, COVID, uh, post-COVID rehabilitation programs and some of the uh, chronic uh, issues which, which the community fa faces like diabetes, uh, kidney disease, um, whether heart disease or cancer, that in this area, how we can collaborate, uh, bringing the wisdom of India and working with the Canada, that finding and devising evidence-based uh, unique ways of uh, tackling the healthcare uh, which is plant-based, uh, includes uh, you know, yoga meditation part of it, exercise, physical exercise. At the end of the day, how we can enhance the happiness, human happiness, get their fullest potential, their cre creative potential. So that's what the overall objective is. And with that note, we are very, very proud. And I would uh, request uh, Milosh uh, from UHN to share some of uh, his thoughts. And we have uh, in the panel, uh, all, all the uh, accomplished uh, uh, people who are very passionate about this subject. And I'll request everyone to uh, share their thoughts. But to begin with, uh, our partner in this uh, um, initiative, Milosh, to share some of uh, your thoughts. So thank you, Satish and, and Lucky. I mean, uh... We are tremendously, as an institution, we're tremendously humbled by, by your donation and the support and this uh, endowment that you're putting towards uh, helping uh, uh, addressing the needs of South Asian community here in, 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 in Toronto, in Canada. We are delighted that you have chosen Dr. Polo as the leader of the project and who will be managing uh, this uh, project forward. Um, 
what I really enjoy and what I, what I think is fantastic and like he touched on it in his presentation, is we've been building this relationship for quite some time. And these three healthcare summits were a result of that. And as we were doing that and having consultations, we de develop really intimate relationship. And that relationship resulted in getting Sona Group with us and, and getting Medanta with us. And we're working with Apollo Group. And this particular step in which this endowment is coming to actually impact the patient life and impact the quality of life and create a new programs, which are really tailored to, to the community that needs this is very exciting for us. And it's timely, it's necessary. And you could not have chosen a better partner than Dr. Polo because he's been doing these type of programs very successfully, has extraordinary research uh, career and portfolio. And as a clinician, he is one of the most outstanding people that I have met in my life. So we are very excited that we have this partnership. We're excited about a program that we're supporting. and. Um, that you're supporting. And we see this as a step, one of many steps in uh, getting this collaboration in partnership with Canadian, uh, Can Canadian India Foundation uh, stronger and, and multifaceted. I, I am delighted that we are uh, partners with you. Uh, it makes me very proud. And uh, my institution, which is Skype and UHN, is really delighted to have this privilege to be working collaboratively with you. Uh, I don't know if Paul wants to say something to add to that. Um, Paul, Paul, you have something you would like to add to this? Of, of, of course. Uh, thank you, Milos. And uh, our, our driver on this initiative is Dr. Paul O. I, I think whatever interaction we had in the past uh, few years, we always find him a very passionate on uh, this concept. Uh, he's been to India whenever we had a couple of lunches. And I can see, uh, you know, the passion that the smile when we touch upon this topic. So we could not have found a better driver to drive this initiative. Dr. Paolo, uh, your, your, your remarks, please. Uh, thank you very much, Satish. And indeed, I, I went to Delhi just to have lunch. So <laughs> uh, it's been marvelous. Uh, Dr. Lakshman and Mr. Thakkar, thank you very much. And let me offer a, a formal note of, of thanks on behalf of the University Health Network, uh, Toronto Rehab and the UHN Foundation. Uh, we are deeply honored and grateful to have this opportunity to partner with the Canada India Foundation and indeed the local South Asian community on this vitally important initiative around integrated chronic disease management. So we've, we've heard throughout this very insightful symposium about the profound impacts of COVID-19 and the heroic responses of our healthcare community. But we've also acknowledged the underlying and persistent epidemic of non-communicable diseases like heart disease, cancer, diabetes, lung conditions, chronic kidney disease. You know, this is the underlying and pervasive epidemic that has a tremendous impact on patients and families, healthcare practitioners, and indeed the health system. Uh, and, and we've seen kind of disproportionate suffering of persons living with these comor comorbidities, particularly in the South Asian communities. Together, we have the opportunity to impact directly on this critical area by addressing the roots of chronic disease, you know, the fundamental health behaviors like physical inactivity, smoking, poor nutrition, as well as psychological factors that make these conditions worse. We have the opportunity to combine, as, as you put it, Satish, ancient wisdom and modern medicine together to um, integrally uh, address the, the, the development of these NCDs. And of course, all of these issues are, of course, crucial to address to successfully recover from COVID-19. So there are large populations uh, who are at risk and who need our help. Our partnership will yield better prevention and management strategies around NCDs. We'll build this in very close collaboration, of course, through scholarly exchange with South Asian experts and trainees who will develop over the next few years. Together, we'll emphasize a holistic approach to health, ancient, modern, east, west, mind, body. All of this will be very, very important so that we can develop customized solutions for the South Asian community. We're very grateful to 
the Canada India Foundation, Dr. Lakshmanan, Mr. Thakur, for launching this amazing partnership and collaboration. And we're very delighted to be able to start this journey together today. Uh, thank you so very much, uh, Dr. All. We are uh, absolutely looking forward to it. And uh, I must say that uh, the key inspiration behind this initiative is our own uh, CG, Council General of India, Apurvaji. And whenever we uh, actually sat together, uh, this is one topic I think I cannot uh, remember any meeting in which this topic might not have emerged. And uh, this topic is very, very uh, closer to her heart uh, as well, this initiative. I, I, I think uh, she is one of the very happiest person when she heard this news that we are starting this uh, initiative. Uh, Apurvaji, over to you for, for, for your uh, brief comments. Thank you, Satishji. First, um, you know, my thank yous are getting over now. I have thanked you guys so many times. But uh, it's a great, great initiative. Thank you, my Lord. Thank you, uh, CIF, Dr. Lakshmanan, and Dr. Paul O for, you know, taking on this new initiative. And uh, uh, I, Dr. Manoj Nesari is also with us. He's advisor of minister, from Ministry of Ayush. And uh, I think he's another very happy man today. Uh, uh, in last, you know, last uh, one and a half years, what we have learned is that health is the most important asset you have. So, so we have to work towards not only, you know, curing it, but also preventing it. And with Indian traditional uh, ancient uh, um, Ayurveda, I, uh, yoga, it's it, it's a it's a way of life. It's how you lead your life to prevent diseases. So I think it will be a marriage of two great things uh, of the modern technology and the ancient wisdom of India. Uh, so really, of course, as you already said, I'm very happy and uh, my best wishes and anything which I can do, I'll be very happy to uh, you know participate in that. Uh, I'll be you know uh, thank thank you once again and we'd like to hear from Mr. Nasari also. Thank you. Thank you so much, very much, Apurvaji. Of course, <clears throat> uh, Dr. Manoj Nisari, we are very, very specially privileged, actually, to have his present, uh, presence uh, today. Uh, he, earlier, he gave his uh, presentation at, uh, at our uh, parallel session, and uh, we requested him to be part of uh, today's announcement. And we are, we are very um, privileged and honored to have him uh, with us because he would be our uh, guiding light uh, moving forward basis that how we can uh, really execute uh, this kind of initiative and we seek a lot of guidance and uh, uh, advice from him which we will be coordinating uh, after the forum is over and uh, Dr. Nisari first and foremost sincere thank you for uh, joining this uh, announcement ceremony and your participation over to you. Thank you, Satishji. I am really very happy to uh, know all these developments and to understand how actually it has evolved. So this is a, a, a very, very happy moment today. And I'm really thankful to all of you, uh, Satish Thakkar, Apurva Siva, so the CG, uh, Harish Verma, uh, Lakshmanan, uh, Dr. Paul O, uh, Dr. Uh, Milos, uh, uh, Ritesh Malik, as well as uh, uh, Dr. Choklingam, so all of you, so you have actually worked hard for this. And uh, I'm really happy to know this. And it will be really uh, a pleasure to the uh, Ministry of Ayush to uh, collaborate and to participate and to work uh, together in future. Uh, as you might know that the Ministry is collaborating with various ac academic institutes across the world, whether it is from the USA or Brazil or from South Africa or from various other countries. So we are actually, have, we have collaboration across the world and it will be a really a, a, a pleasure to the Ministry to uh, have collaboration and to work together. At this moment, I would like to mention that uh, Apurvaji, she mentioned that the uh, health is the prime importance that we have actually understood in the last one and a half year. But uh, what actually Ayurved has said, I would just like to quote one shloka from Ayurved so in uh, the literal translation is that whether it is actually earning the money or whether it is your pleasure or whether you are doing your daily job and routines, what is important is the health. And this has been actually said in Ayurveda 5,000 years back. So this is actually the, uh, the, the health is the prime importance even since then. And this collaboration 
the sushruta who was acclaimed as the father of modern plastic surgery the sushruta he was the surgeon of ayurveda uh, some 5000 years back and sushruta has mentioned that ekam shastram adhiyano na vidya shastra nischaya so if you have to innovate if you have to develop you have to collaborate you have to understand the different dimensions of a particular uh, you know, aspect or the or, or, or a situation so that is mean by the uh, collaboration and that is mean by uh, the different vidya so vidya is the different knowledge system so you have to integrate you have to understand you have to learn the different knowledge systems so that you can understand and you can get the real picture of the problem how to solve this so and then whether it is diabetes mellitus and the other non communicable diseases whether it is the infectious diseases like covid and whether there are other various diseases as well as the the nutrition is a very important aspect i would like to share with you that we had been actually uh, facing the uh, iron deficiency anemia in children in india it is very large and in one uh, the uh, location uh, the uh, the incidence was almost 50% for the last 50 years and there we introduce one ayurveda intervention which is basically based on grapes and within one year the incidence of 50% it dropped down to 1% and this improvement it actually persisted for 3 years so this likewise there are number of examples are there so the scope of uh, doing the collaborative research it is enormous whether it is related to nutrition deficiencies whether it is pertaining to infectious diseases non infectious diseases or the geriatric and in future definitely uh, the experts uh, they, they will work, they will sit together and they will identify the different projects and it will be very uh, happy moment to work together and uh, work for the humanity thank you very much satish ji and all of you thank you thank you thank you so very much we are looking forward to working on this exciting uh, journey together and uh, may i request uh, dr chakalingam for for a quick uh, brief uh, comments uh, uh, you have Uh, first of all, I am very happy that oh. Canada India Foundation. Uh, uh. Yeah, Canada India Foundation has instituted this uh, endowment, and to see so many generous sponsors to come forward to help, and particularly it touches my heart. because paul knows well my research all my life is on hypertension cardiovascular disease and lately on non communicable disease and you could not have chosen anyone better than paul who is so dedicated to prevention and then to carry out congratulations paul congratulations to milosh for uh, being the instrument behind it and then to all of our uh, fearless leaders like dr lakshmanan dr satish thakkar uh, ritesh bhai and of course our uh, consul general apurva ji for all your inspiration and for making this happen thank you and together together we can we can achieve a disease free world thank you and uh, thank you very much uh, dr chokalingam and uh, this is one slide actually we wanted to share uh, it's uh, shared already uh, we are very very proud happy and excited to announce that uh, we finalized this proposal yesterday and uh, today uh, as we conclude our uh, summit we are very happy to announce that we have already got 200000 dollar commitment towards that project uh, these are the eight uh, men and women who have uh, pledged uh, $25000 each uh, from from their side uh, to first kitty of uh, 200000 towards that million dollar goal so thank you each and every one of uh, them for their generosity and uh, their um, uh, long strong conviction about this initiative and uh, you know uh, support full support whole hearted support to towards this um, initiative and i must also say that we have dr harish verma who is our partner in our ayurvedic speaker series he himself is a very renowned ayurvedic uh, professional doctor operating in uh, in canada uh, in brampton uh, currently he is in india so he has joined from uh, india dr uh, harish verma for your 
some of the thoughts. I'm sure I can see the smile on your face and yes. see the happiness emerging from, from your heart. So uh, your thoughts, please. Uh, thank you, Steve Thank you very much. Uh, first of all, I congratulate all the award winners. And I also congratulate Canada India Foundation for creating a new platform for integrated research, particularly on Ayurvedic medicine. It will be the first platform at international level. So collaboration with the UHN and Ayush Department of Government of India, I, I'm sure many young scientists will be delighted to know and they will be uh, they will be very uh, they will be I, i'm sure they will develop uh, some uh, economical safe and effective medicines based on ayurveda for current pandemic and i am also thankful to apurva shrivastav ji and dr manoj desari ji for supporting our ayurveda lecture series there's a tremendous demand for Ayurveda in Canada after this series. And I'm also thankful to all the CIF members and all our well-wishers who are supporting Ayurveda. Thank you, Sriji, and thank you, everyone. Thank you, Dr. Varma. Now I'll ask my partner, Ritesh Malik, because it's a huge task. We will be seeking and appealing every each and every one of uh, you know people we know, person we know, that how we can... Uh, collect this, uh, you know, target and achieve this target as quickly as possible. I'm not sure if, if anyone is from the foundation also present uh, uh, in uh, this session. So uh, I'll, I'll request the technical team to put them into the panel as well. And uh, otherwise, uh, Ritesh, uh, your, your comments, uh, the final. Thank you, Satish ji. Uh, the Canada-India Healthcare Summit, like all ambitious and overreaching projects, I believe was a labor of love, lots of labor, labor and lots of love as in passion. I mean, we were driven by passion of uh, uh, Dr. Lucky Lakshman uh, and Dr. Arun Chokalingam who were, you know, driving force uh, along with you in this whole initiative and Apurvaji. There were so many people and organizations involved in this initiative that the likelihood of missing someone is real. First, the organizations like Canada India Foundation, FICI, Toronto Rehab, UHN, Consulate General of India, Toronto, our media partners who helped to promote the event by inviting us to talk about the summit on their TV shows, by producing promotional materials and by giving us valuable space on their media bandwidth to help us to reach out to people all over. I mean, it just seems like yesterday when we all started this and I am so immensely happy, grateful, to all these people and organizations, you know, when we see what uh, we have seen in last two days, uh, it's really commendable in current circumstances. Uh, Jamun Media, Y Media, Spotlight TV Production, Nayak Production, Z Canada, Sharda Infosys. The event would have not have been happened without our sponsors. And I request our technical team if they can put up the logos uh, while we recognize them on the screen. Will we be able to see the logo? We'll come, we'll, we'll come to that uh, later part because we have one more ceremony to finish before that. Oh, okay. uh, we, we are concluding our this announcement at this moment. Word of thanks uh, will be uh, further, uh, I think, a uh, few minutes away. We have one more ceremony to and another announcement to make. So thank you so much, uh, very much, your comments. And uh, Dr. Lakshman, before we uh, move to the next segment, uh, a very, very special segment, which is close to all of our heart, heart to recognize and honor one of our very key stalwart. Uh, we're gonna be moving to that uh, segment, but before that, uh, I would request the technical team to please play the video uh, UHN has produced on this initiative. And thank you all for participating on the, this uh, major uh, announcement, the key announcement. <laughs> Friends, we are very proud to announce the launch of a new partnership between Canada India Foundation, a public policy institution in Canada, and University Health Networks Toronto Rehab. 
UHN is at the forefront of integrated care and is home to the number four hospital in the world. And of course, we cherish it is the best in Canada. Collaborating with this world-renowned organization, it will help us to bring holistic methods along with Western rehabilitation practices to, of course, offer the best outcome for cardiovascular diseases, cancer, and kidney disease, diabetes for our community, our South Asian community in Canada. Spearheading this exciting initiative is Dr. Paul O, a great friend of us, leader in the field of cardiac rehabilitation, medical director of the Cardiovascular Prevention and Rehabilitation, and a senior scientist at Toronto Rehab. We have known Paul for many years. He has participated with us, Canada India Foundation, on many uh, Canada India uh, healthcare summits. We are very pleased that Toronto Rehab and UHN and the Canada India Foundation are coming together to take care of the healthcare of, of our community. We're thrilled to be joining forces with the Canada India Foundation on this important collaboration to advance research, education, and medical care that will benefit the health of the South Asian community. We recognize that there is a tremendous impact of chronic conditions like heart disease, diabetes, chronic kidney disease, and cancer on the South Asian communities in Canada and indeed around the world. This is a marvelous opportunity to bring ancient wisdom from traditional health practices with modern medicine and together we can develop an integrated approach to improving these important chronic conditions. This will be an amazing opportunity for scholarly exchange where individuals and experts from South Asian communities can join forces with experts in the UHN community and together develop the important assets to advance research and education and improve medical care. We are thrilled to be working on this initiative and so grateful to the community for your support. Together, we'll transform the health of our South Asian community. The partnership with Toronto Rehab is vital to preventing chronic disease and supporting well-being in our community. We would like to invite you all to be part of this exciting initiative. To support this project, we are looking for donors to contribute to this project over five years. Our initial budget is $1 million. Together, we can bring innovative care models that integrate traditional holistic health principles and advanced rehabilitation practices to prevent and provide better care for cardiovascular, chronic kidney disease, cancer, and diabetes practices. Through this program at Toronto Rehab by Canada India Foundation, along with you all, we will keep our community connected and healthy. Thank you all, and uh, I request all our viewers, participants, and uh, spread this message. And uh, uh, we are seeking donations, and we will be, of course, uh, circulating the, this this uh, major uh, press release uh, shortly. And we are seeking donations. We are looking forward to this. is going to be one of uh, uh, major, major, I think, breakthrough if we can work in this direction uh, of finding holistic care for 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 ourselves and. Uh, enhancing uh, our uh, eternal happiness through 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 this uh, um, integrated uh, healthcare so uh, i appeal to each and every one uh, who is watching this who is uh, participating on on this uh, uh, forum to spread the work open your hearts open your pockets to donate uh, generously and uh, our first uh, beginning has started with 200000 and our target is that we should finish this uh, uh, initiative uh, uh, financially budget as quickly as possible so that we can get all people on ground uh, working on the research project as quickly as possible. So thank you once again for participating on this very special uh, partnership announcement event.